Our next speaker almost needs no introduction. He's a very familiar face and everybody's favorite cousin. Ahmet is the executive director of the Affinity Intercultural Foundation. Please welcome Ahmet to the stage. Thank you, my esteemed cousin, Darren. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum, my cousin, uncles, aunties, friends. Peace be with you. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians, the Gadigal and Eora people on, ho on whose lands we gather here tonight. I pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging, and honor, uh, and honor them for maintaining the cultural and intellectual foundations that ensure these traditions continue. I also extend that respect to all First Nations people present here tonight. First and foremost, I would like to extend my condolences to the relatives of those who lost their lives in the natural disaster, disasters in Turkey, Syria, Pakistan, and the famine in Sudan and Somalia, and to all others in countries that have, have and still are experiencing natural calamities and war. I believe that the world needs more than ever is people who gather in solidarity, who extend to one another e another a helping hand. And so I truly appreciate gatherings like tonight's iftar. Thank you, Cousin Darren, for emceeing tonight's iftar dinner. We are very honored. I'd like to express my gratitude to Uncle Michael for his, um, for his very special acknowledgement of country. And to Uncle Valangari for his moving Digiduru performance. They are my esteemed uncles. I extend my thanks to tonight's distinguished keynote speakers, Commissioner Karen Webb, could I please call Cousin Karen? And thank you to our guest owner, Cousin Amar. Tonight, we will also be hearing from some special community members from the Fire and Rescue New, New South Wales team, including my cousins, Darian, Jasmine, and Honor. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the courageous firefighters who have traveled from Australia to help with the earthquake relief efforts in Turkey. Thank you. Your bravery, dedication, and self selflessness in the face of danger area are inspirations to us all, and we are so grateful for you and your team. Thank you, thank you to the religious leaders and representatives who will share their heartfelt expressions later this evening. I believe you all represent what is at the heart of this event, being the voice of your communities and sharing those with us tonight. Tonight's word of thanks will be generously presented by esteemed cousin, Honorable Professor Verity, and uh, and the concluding remarks by the esteemed cousin, Dr. Graham. And finally, thank you to our musical ensemble, my cousin Farhan and his brothers for joining us tonight all the way from Adelaide. We look forward to hearing the, your musical performance later this evening. And finally, my esteemed thanks to Affinity's valuable advisor board members, directors member, director members, as well as our volunteers, supporters, and sponsors. Ramadan, as observed last year, once again, feels even more special as blessed periods that are central to so many of our lives have all aligned, including the Christian holiday of Lent and Easter and the Jewish holiday of Passover, I think is tonight. Esteemed cousins, uncles and aunties, the holy month of Ramadan is not just about personal piety and fasting. It is also about reaching out to others, building bridges of understanding and compassion, and working together to create a better world for all. Ramadan teaches us that we cannot be truly full when someone is hungry elsewhere, and that we cannot be truly warm when someone is cold elsewhere. In that spirit, we have come together tonight as people of different faiths and backgrounds, united by our shared humanity and our commitment to a better future. We are here to learn from each other, to celebrate our diversity, and break, break bread together in fellowship and harmony. By meeting each other, 
By sharing a smile and heart heartfelt conversation, we can truly feel the connection from heart to heart that such nights, such nights bring about amongst people. The recent earthquakes in Turkey and Syria have been a devastating reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of coming together in times of crisis. These events have reminded the need for communities to come together to support one another and to work towards building resilience in the face of diversity. In the context of Rumi's quote tonight, the beauty of the plant comes from the goodness of the seed, and the beauty of man comes from his heart. We can see how communities can come together to sow the seeds of goodness and cultivate beauty in the face of tragedy. The goodness within us can give rise to compassion, kindness, and generosity, which can in turn create beauty in the world and bring hope to those in need. Throughout the difficulties we have witnessed over the last years, including the bushfires and floods in Australia, the global COVID pandemic, earthquakes in Turkey, Syria, we have seen countless examples, uh, examples of communities coming together to support those affected. Volunteers from different faiths and backgrounds have worked side by side to, to, to provide food, shelter, and medical assistance to those in need. It is an absolute honor to have with us tonight some of these exemplary volunteers, including our guest owner, cousin Amar, uh, and my cousin Daryl Jasmine, honor from our brave fire and rescue New South Wales team. Thank you. These acts of kindness and generosity are a testament to the beauty of the human heart and the power of communities to come together and make positive difference in the world. So let us take inspiration from these recent events and work towards building stronger and more resilient communities that reflect goodness of our hearts. By doing so, we can create a more beautiful and just world, one in which we come together in times of crisis to sow the seeds of compassion and kindness and create a brighter future for all. Fethullah Gülen, prominent Islamic scholar and thinker, states that those who have a deep sense of com commitment to their values and ideals and who combine this with hard work and determination can accomplish great things. These quotes remind us that in order to make a positive impact in the world, we must, we must be committed to our values and ideals and be willing to work hard and preserve in the face of challenges. When we combine our commitment with action, we can work to, uh, towards eradicating the social, economic, and political barriers that divide us and excel in initiatives that have a meaningful impact. I see the Uluru Statement from the Heart as a powerful example of such an initiative that emphasizes the value of coming together in a spirit of mutual respect and understanding and working towards a shared vision of, for a better future. By listening to indigenous voice, voices and learning from their wisdom and experience, we can build stronger and more inclusive communities that reflect our shared values and aspirations. I am so, thank you. Thank you. I am so honored and humbled to gather tonight for Affinity's annual New South Wales Parliament Friendship and Dialogue IFTAR with you to share our voice within our communities for dialogue, for love, for peace, for justice, and for unity. May Ramadan bring us inner peace and be means for community and global harmony. Ramadan Mubarak, thank you.